Okay, welcome back, America, to your Caribou Data Science channel. And a special shout out to the uh, seven people who watched this video in the U.S. yesterday. Thank you so much for the seven views. But I do have a favor to ask you folks today. If you watch the video, then please click on the like button next to it. Okay, the likes are very important to YouTube. It's the likes that really get us to get us noted by uh, YouTube's algorithm. Okay, so please, please, please click if you watch the video. Click the like button next to the video, okay? Let's just come down here to the U.S. And let's fire up this report for the U.S. now. Anything new on Twitch? Unfortunately not, no. Twitch is a Twitch is an interesting thing. I mean Leak code. Here we go. You won your first contest and win five hundred leak coins. Let's see. Don't think you contests are the best way to gauge how well prepared you are and simulate the environment of real interview. By participating in contests, you will see weekly improvements in your progress and you'll know how to be ready for the real deal. Looking for a part-time job? Let's see. After each contest, you can learn the best the best from the best by reading our official solutions and browsing the top voted solutions in discussion. Weekly contest 269 starts at uh, 6.30 p.m. Uh, Saturday. Okay. Okay, America, since... Uh, okay, America, since... Uh, the, January of 2020, we've had 47.9 million cases. And since the last week of February of 2020, we've had 773,000 cases. Of course, I wonder how many people have died from cancer in that same period of time? How many people have died from heart disease? Okay. We're so obsessed with these cumulative numbers that we don't we, we, we ignore the fact when the numbers actually look better. Okay. So anyway, uh, 773,770 deaths. 47.9 million cases. We're currently averaging 71,506 cases per day, which projects out over the next 365 days to 26.09 million new cases. 1,220 deaths per day, which projects out to 445,467 over the next Okay. Of course, the headline was, you know, uh, cases are surging, you know, infections, new infections, cases are surging in America. Well, of course they're surging in America. The vaccine, how can, how can we expect the cases to do anything other than to increase as long as we, as, as long as we have a, as long as we have a vaccine that, uh, that doesn't keep you from getting the disease? Okay, that's the point. Because ultimately the numbers will continue to go up because because the, the, until we have a vaccine that can eradicate the disease like the polio vaccine did, there's, there's absolutely no no reason to expect that COVID nineteen is really going to go away by itself. Although of course the swine flu did, interestingly enough, because the swine because the swine flu had uh, like three and a half or four waves and then it stopped. There was no vaccine. There's no social distancing. I, I, I just stopped. Okay, which is kind of curious. Maybe, maybe that'll happen with uh, with COVID nineteen. Maybe someday it'll, it'll stop. Maybe God will maybe God will intervene in the history of America and deliver us from this disease. Okay, but anyway, right now you guys you can see America. You're uh, I'm 
I'll be back in just one second. Hey, welcome back, America, to your Caribou Data Science, uh, to, to Dave's Data Analytic Channel. I'll be back with you folks in 15 minutes as we continue to read through the book, R for Data Science by Hadley Wickham. See you in a little, little over 15 minutes, okay? Okay, as you can see here, uh, 2021 cases for the U.S. have passed 2020 cases. You can also see here that uh, currently, uh, the third quarter of 2021's COVID-19 cases is the quarter with the third most, third most cases so far. We're going to take a look down here. You can see in the spring and summer, we had a bit of a, de a, a decline here, particularly these three months right here. Okay, but we had these months here, the six months here, when, when the deaths were well below these three weeks back over here. Then we had a two a two month increase in COVID nineteen cases, followed by, hopefully now this will be the second month, the third month in a row we have a decline in COVID nineteen cases in the U.S. Weekly cases, well, again, long declining pattern, pretty nice numbers down here. Then we had this increase in in July. Now, what is what is this increase? Is it unvaccinated people? Is it vaccinated people? Is it Delta variant? I mean, are we going to go through an endless cycle now of, 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 uh, of vaccinations and boosters for, for this disease? At what point are we going to learn to live with this disease? Just the way we live with heart disease and cancer, okay? So anyway, let's come back over here. So again, long declining pattern, then this big increase over here in July. Now again, the long declining pattern. And the last, we had three weeks up. Now, now the numbers have dropped back down again, okay? Now, if we take a look over here, you can see that our COVID-19 cases spiked on January 8th at 33,492 before falling down around the old 13 to 24,000 back down and through here, okay? Then we had this climb up here, back up in September the 7th to uh, 265,423 more cases. Now if you come over here, you can see that the uh, on November 23rd, that number is back down to 92,609, with a daily average of uh, uh, 92,554 cases on average per day. Now we can look at deaths here, and you can see we got this... Uh, we had again, you know, it's, uh, a big increase in COVID-19 deaths despite a massive vaccination effort. 2021 COVID-19 deaths that go past 2020 deaths. Okay. And again, uh, unfortunately, uh, the third quarter of 2021 is the, it has the third most deaths for any quarter so far. Monthly deaths. Again, look at this nice long one, two, three, four, five, six months in a row during the spring and summer, we had a decline in COVID-19 deaths. Then we had a two-month increase followed by now by a two-month decline in COVID-19 deaths, okay? Weekly weekly deaths, well, again, the same declining pattern. The spike up in July, then the, then the, then the, then the, then the deaths fell, fell back down on a weekly basis, okay? Deaths, the daily deaths. On, the, on the January the 20th, we had 4,442 deaths. The numbers fell down you know, to the triple digits here. Then on uh, September the 16th, we had 3,459 deaths before that number fell back down on November the 23rd to 1,426 with an average of uh, 110,000 deaths per day. Now, here's a question for you folks. For every 100,000 Americans, how many currently have COVID-19? Well, the number is right around 26 on the average, as you can see, okay? This is 25. Right around 26 people, 800,000 people right now, roughly 26 people have COVID-19. What about, for every 100,000 people in America, how many people are dying from COVID-19? Well, this number here is one-fourth of a person. This is one-half. So I'm going to be generous. I'm going to round this average up to say, for every 100,000 people in the U.S., one-half of a person is dying from COVID-19, okay? 
So well, anyway, America, that does conclude your report for today. Again, but I just want to say if you, if you watched the video and you find it helpful, by all means, click on that like button next to the video, okay? Thanks so much, America, for your time, and we'll catch you in a day or two with an updated report.